Hi everyone, so my this video is related to my first job experience, my first job which was in a very prestigious organization which we call Defense Research and Development Organization. I served in that organization from 2001 to 2003 in uh, one lab in Dehradun and that is called IRDE, Instrument Research Development Establishment. You know, uh, I don't think I, I was meant to be uh, a scientist though I joined the job but research aptitude I was not having. Despite of that you know uh, I relished there, I relished my stay there and I could meet one of the you know finest you know researchers there, a very good scientist there. On the basis of my limited two years of exposure in DRDO, uh, I am of the opinion that you know uh, it is a matter of great prestige if you serve in such kind of organization getting into this organization and then serving in this organization because when you work for you know defense domain i mean you're a defense scientist it looks like you're working for the safety of your nation i'll tell you uh, once somebody asked kalam kalam sahab the ex-president and you know great scientist abdul kalam he was asked once by someone that uh, you are known as missile man how do you feel when people call you missile man and you worked on a destructive technology he said that uh, you think of the wars India had in the past. We had war with China 1962, we had war with Pakistan 1965 and then again 1971 and then we had Pokhran in 1974. The moment we had Pokhran and India became nuclear power, after that the wars stopped. So Kalam sahab gave the answer that uh, when we have technology and you know when we have these kind of weapons and we become self-reliant in these kind of things. Uh, then other powers cannot you know overpower country like India so that means the moment you are a defense scientist you are working for the uh, you know nation and you contribute into the safety and security of the country and that feeling is you know different kind of feeling so uh, that was my experience in DRDO and I strongly believe that the kind of labs India in uh, DRDO has in different parts of India uh, you name the technology and DRDU has the lab for that and the kind of flexibility you get there as scientist you can work on any technology the uh, machines with which you can operate very costly machines as you know defense budget we have and DRDU comes under ministry of defense so you know this is wonderful organization so if you are getting chance to be the part of DRDU believe me it is one of the best jobs but you should have research aptitude research bent of mind and if you have it convert this into selection and you will really relish being defense scientist. All the very best and I hope you join this great organization. Thank you.